On a brisk Sunday afternoon, 62-year-old Martin Leaves settled into his worn recliner, a steaming cup of coffee in hand, the sound of the football game echoing through his cozy living room. He'd been a lifelong supporter of the Eastbridge Hawks, never missing a game, always shouting at the television like the players could hear him. Today's match was intense rival teams, high stakes. Martin leaned forward as the Hawks lined up for a game-winning field goal. His heart thudded, his hands clenched the armrests. As the kicker charged forward and the ball sailed through the air, Martin gasped, not from the score but from the sudden, crushing pain in his chest. The room spun, his coffee spilled, his body slumped. The world went black. Across town, his daughter, Emma, had been texting him updates when her last message went unread. Uneasy, she called no answer. She raced over, let herself in, and found him collapsed. Her training as a nursing student kicked in. She called 911, started chest compressions, counting through tears and panic. The paramedics arrived in minutes, shocked his heart back into rhythm, and sped him to St. Luke's Medical Center. Martin survived. A blockage had caused the arrest, but Emma's quick response saved his life. Weeks later, he sat in that same recliner, a little thinner, a lot more grateful, watching another Hawks game this time with Emma by his side, holding his hand, and a new pacemaker quietly ticking beneath his skin. If you enjoyed the story, subscribe, like, and turn on notification for more on the Medical Frontline Chronicles.